Kiki, itamo wa penakomio. We have happily reached another dawn. It is the morning of Good Friday, March 30th, 2018. Um, in the lunar cycle, saw Aki, some, the duck moon. And yeah, I'm just getting my day started. I'm out in kind of rural southern Alberta, um, going to that farm where I trapped a few raccoons over the last week and uh, it's been a couple of nights now I think about three four nights with no more action at the traps so I think we got all their raccoons I'm gonna go pick up the traps grab my payment and uh, head out I'm trying to do all that before the the snow starts um, this morning when I woke up it was bright blue you know sunny skies and I was actually thinking about putting on my shorts and sandals <laughs> It was minus two degrees, but I thought, oh, I'll warm up, it'll go above zero. But uh, then I opened up my prognosticator, my uh, my weather app, and it says, no, no, my friend. <laughs> it's not gonna warm up. In fact, it's gonna move from minus two to minus 11 and dump some snow. So, yeah, so I'm doing a little bit of running around before that gets started. I uh, gotta go out and check out, check out, uh, one of the lakes where I collect goose eggs because the egg collection is supposed to start, you know, like this weekend, but I don't I don't think I'm going to be able to get out to the island. I think it's going to be too iced over. We'll see. So not sure what's going to happen there, whether the goose are even going to start laying eggs this weekend, considering the conditions, but I don't know. Any any case, I thought I'd just turn on the camera and bring you around for my day. <laughs> I, uh, a, a good Friday or any other day in the life of Rye. Friday, Mami, Mami Ksishchiko, I think. The uh, fish day in Blackfoot from the uh, from the Catholic practice in the residential schools and stuff of eating the, eating the fish on Friday. <laughs> any case, I'm at the farm now. Just pulling in, so I'm gonna go grab my traps grab my payment and uh, book it on back to Lethbridge. Looks like I got my payment and then some. This was inside one of my traps waiting for me. Let's see what let's see what's going on here. Nice some fruit snacks. Fruit snacks and the check. Very good, very good. They actually gave me a Extra 20 bucks even. Made it supposed to be for 160, made it for 180. That's nice. Now to send him a, a quick text. Well, here we are, Henderson Lake. And this island that's out here in the lake was established some years ago as a kind of a goose nesting island. Uh, there used to be a sign dedicated to the <laughs> dedicating the island to the geese. Um, but the geese used that island. They used it and used it and used it. And um, it got to be where there were, you know, maybe 400 geese being born here on the island every summer. And the golf course back that way... Um, really didn't appreciate having all the, the goose families on their golf greens and so they kind of petitioned um, the government to allow them to uh, do something about it and now they have an arrangement between the between Alberta and the, fi the Fish and Wildlife and uh, the city and they work with the city and go out here and dip the eggs in oil, uh, most of the eggs, they have to leave a couple of nests around the lake, but they, most of the eggs they dip. And so when I found out about this, um, I asked whether I could cull those eggs to use them for ceremony. Um, and it, it was agreed that I could do so. And so every year at, at Easter, you know, I come out here early, a um, couple hours before the dawn, and Mahoney and I will float out to the island on a raft 
<laughs> and take eggs for our beaver bundle opening ceremony uh, because it's one of the four foods that are that you need for that that ceremony so but never never has it been like this with the just open ice and um, I'm wondering whether this ice can hold me whether I can walk this ice to get across to the island to check on the nests I don't think they'll have laid any as of today but it's possible certainly this weekend would be the normal timing I don't know whether to trust this ice or not but it looks pretty pretty good hopefully I don't fall in the lake here So far, so good. This is pretty solid. You can see all the goose couples out here. To go see if there's any egg caches already. Probably won't be, but there, it's a possibility. But yeah, never has the timing been off in the about 14 years or so that I've been doing this. Um, the, the eggs are always laid with the full moon after the equinox, which is the timing for the Easter holiday. for obvious egg caches here. Ground is pretty frozen for them even to be laying eggs and hiding them. Not seeing any of the uh, any of those type of egg caches as yet though can see here is this is kind of what they do they dig out this is one that a goose has been preparing she'll start laying eggs there and then cover them up with the with the ground litter so probably um, either Sunday morning with the actual Easter holiday or Monday or something Mahoney and I will come out here since I'm checking right now and I see that there's no egg caches as yet, there's really no reason for me to rush it. In fact, it could wait till the middle of the week. yet so no reason to come out this weekend but we're close you know you can see the geese all around here and they're getting they're digging those depressions they're getting ready um, probably over the weekend some will start laying eggs but I want to wait till there's a little collection of them before bothering to come back out so I'll probably give it a give it a few days come in the middle of the week maybe and see how things are progressing okay I'm back home now and relaxing. Had a nice lunch when I got home. Mahoney and I cooked a couple of chicken breasts wrapped around some asparagus shoots. A little bit of cheese in there, you know, all roasted together. Some mashed potatoes on the side. It was, it was good. Sat for maybe 40 minutes, an hour afterwards, digesting. Just kind of poking around on YouTube and Facebook. But uh, now I've transitioned into the time of day when I try to focus on some of my academic work. And what that typically involves is me sitting here in my rocking chair, in my pajamas, typically with one or more birds at my side. And of course Mandy. <laughs> Mandy's just relaxing today. She had two meals this week. So she's uh, 
digesting herself and takes her a little bit longer than it takes me. <laughs> so she's just going to take it easy probably most of the weekend. Um, but yeah, I get comfortable and I try to focus in whatever report writing, proposal writing, um, lit review, email communications, any of that kind of, you know, work that involves um, writing and reading. <laughs> That's what I reserve this, this afternoon time for. Uh, I am considering going out after a little bit later in the evening and training in the garage, uh, doing some some shadow boxing and stuff like that just to kind of work up a sweat. Um, I don't typically train in the late afternoon, early evening like that though, so I don't know. We'll wait and see how my what my body says after I'm done with this work. But, um, but yeah, I, I normally train early in the morning, um, solo, and then in the evenings if I have partners. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm undecided, but I'm, I'm considering it. My body feels like it wants to move around a little bit, you know. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, the snow has come. <laughs> I'll show you that before I uh, get back to work here. <laughs> Yeah, the predicted snow has arrived. Hopefully it won't get... The roads aren't too bad at the time when I have to go get Justine a little bit later when she's off of work. But we'll see. Always an adventure dealing with the climate in southern Alberta.
Yeah, so it's nighttime now, obviously, and end of my day. Uh, had dinner, took a bath, <laughs> watched some comedy. Um, yeah, I'm bringing the uh, trash out. They're gonna collect it in the morning. Uh, they would have collected it. Normally, they collect it on Friday mornings, but since this was Good Friday, they didn't operate, so they'll come on the Saturday and pick it up. But I'm gonna do an experiment because this, like, it's only about half full right now, but I'm gonna have them pick it up anyway, and then uh, I'm gonna see if we can go the whole month of April without having to have them collect it again. I think that we can. Uh, in fact, I think we would just normally, but I'm just curious to see because I know we don't throw out as much garbage as everybody else. <laughs> we do a lot of our recycling and composting and all that stuff. So I'm curious to see, since we're turning a new month here, um, whether we can go the whole month of April and, and not have them pick us uh, pick us up our garbage again so anyway that's it for the video kind of a weird update video today but <laughs> that's how it goes night